also, I mean, you're kind of, you're sitting watching the world from a different perspective yeah. from, from where we are. What do you think that, that Europe should be doing now in order to continue the healing process, in order not to, to get you know, spun into a deflationary spiral, yeah. in order to, to stop it before it, it's too late? I mean, should the ECB be doing you know, full-blown QE? Should the ECB be doing you know, yeah. some type of uh, unlimited bond buying program, but only in a particular area? Should the countries be buying their own sovereign debt? I mean, yeah. Again, from an outsider's perspective, what, what looks like a good idea um, to you? Look, I think if you'd asked me that question about whether they should undertake um, quantitative easing three or four years ago, I would have been pretty sceptical. Um, I mean, the, the issue wouldn't have been doing it, it would have been what would be the unwind process and what would that look like. I think given the success in the US, notwithstanding you know, the Treasury, um, the Fed's got still a very large balance sheet, probably they've got no option but to do that. But realistically, and I think we've seen this in Japan, there's only really so far that monetary easing can take you. You actually have to undertake structural reform. And I still think for, if you take the UK out of that, because you, the UK is undertaking structural reform and it is growing, as we know, much more rapidly than everyone else. There's, it, it, Japan and Europe face the same issues. In the end, they've got to become more competitive. And it's, you can't just have Germany being competitive. Yeah. You need, you, you need the, the big countries, France, Spain, 